Now, the other thing I really liked, and that's actually quite of a learning for me as well, was the CO2. So um, back in my mm. old flat, I had a relatively small room where I worked from home. And uh, when during the summer, I sometimes had to close the window during meetings and the door just to not annoy everybody else and uh, keep the keep the noise out of the out of the apartment. And for some reason, I noticed that man, I don't, I can't concentrate. I get headaches. It's I didn't know why. At some point, like after an hour or two, and then I got one of these from Air, Air Gradient, I think they call themselves. They, they had a DIY edition at that point, but now they have also a fancier one. And now, back then, I just had an automation which just tell Google Voice, hey, the air is kind of not good in here. Please open a window. And that kind of changed my perception regarding how you can concentrate in, in an environment which has not enough fresh, fresh air because for me, it doesn't work right. at all. Right. That was that. So I like automation, which have a very practical impact on my life. And yep. uh, I wouldn't do these buttons where you have like party mode. <laughs> 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 I think they're getting used for videos and that's it. I think that's, that's the only use case for those buttons. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, I mean, not to be, not to be fair, I also have one of these. So, of course, <laughs> like, red button. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Fibaro, which created a whole bunch of Z-Wave devices, they came out with it, like that. It looks exactly like that. It's just a button. And yeah. I think I've seen them now being cleared out at one of my retailers down here in Australia. I think. Oh, I had to build it myself because I didn't find any. Oh, really? There you go. Yeah. Um, that's yeah, I just funny. bought one of these uh, contact switches, the Akara contact switches. Yeah, for yeah. Doors. yeah. You can do everything with them. Yeah, I've got in my electronics cupboard of shame. I have a whole bunch of Aquaro yeah. switches that had grand plans for it. That, yeah, yeah, no longer. Yeah. So it's 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 pretty interesting because I mean, there's I think there's been a few studies now that have talked about like the effect of especially in schools, right, mm -hmm. for concentration and all of that stuff with CO two levels and air quality and all that stuff. So I think that's actually a uh, you know I, I'm I'm seeing the more people we talk to, you're not the first that's that's mm -hmm. done this kind of thing, uh, but I do I do see that as one of those things that. People have been bringing up saying, hey, you know, I am monitoring this thing. And, and I did notice that my CO2 levels are, you know, whatever. They're, they're a little higher than they should be or, or they're a lot higher than they should be, whatever it is. And it's like, hey, open a window or, you yeah. know, do whatever, right? Open some doors, let some cross breeze in, that kind of thing. And um, I think the data is so interesting because yeah. I, I, I had this experience in university as well. We had one room where we had like, like a meter it was like red, yellow, green, and there was some lights behind it. And yeah. if you close the windows and you have like 30, 40, 50 people in a room, it gets to red very fast. Yeah. And everybody was like slouching on their heads or tilting and <laughs> yawning. Yeah, yeah. And that's just the sign of, okay, you have to crack a window. And the other thing which I noticed was when I, we moved back, so we moved from the small flat from the city to a little bit outwards and now i have a very old building with four meter high ceilings in this room right now it's ridiculous but the amount of air in here is very much different i cannot consume it so i see it in the data that i, I didn't don't need to crack a window to be below the windows i had to be in my flat before which is very interesting yeah it's i mean it's almost like you know, as with a lot of things, if you follow the money, you kind of see where what happens, right? So you look at a place like Vegas, mm -hmm. which obviously they pump a lot of oxygen to keep you awake, to keep you focused, to keep you alert. Oh, didn't know, right? And yeah, yeah, and that that that's a lot of where that comes from, right? Is because it's hey, it's uh, again, I don't know how much of it is quote unquote fresh air, yeah, but but just pumping in that oxygen and things like that. There, there's been times that I've had when you know, like I, you don't realize what time it is. Obviously, that's because it's all closed off and all that stuff on purpose, right? And mm. keep you inside and spending money. But you look at the time and you're like, oh, it's like almost 6 a.m. right now, <laughs> right? And you don't, you don't even realize, right? And mm -hmm. and a lot of that is because of things like pumping oxygen and in, into the facilities and stuff like that, right? So again, that, that same kind of principle, you take that and, and apply it at home, right? When you're studying, when you're doing a lot of that stuff, obviously we're not pumping oxygen in our homes or anything like that. Right, but open a window, 
right? And and uh, I don't know, you start automatically like studying better, concentrating better, all of that kind of thing. Which I, I again, I I still think is super interesting, uh, just as a just as a data point in I don't know in life. But yeah, 